Good morning guys. Well, another day, another tournament. We are here on the California Delta. This is Paradise Point, Stockton, California. Today we've got a Yakka Bass event. I think there's like 80 guys signed up. This place is an interesting place. We've come here the last two years and it's the one place that, other than Clear Lake, that I actually don't do that well. I'll put my previous finishes up on the screen right here. So yeah, you can see that I really don't have a good history here, but uh, it is the Delta, anything can happen. We did a couple of days of pre-fish, and uh, from what I gathered, I think five keepers will go a long way in this tournament. And I think to win this one, you're going to need 84 inches. The goal is the same, catch five keepers and go from there. But uh, let's get out on the water, have a good day, see what happens. You will be DQ'd. 3.30 is the latest. Have fun, boys. Watch out. It's dark. All right, guys. It is officially 6.30, so we can make our first cast. We're like halfway to where we want to be. <laughs> so we got at least another half an hour. High risk for potentially high reward. We're going to stick to the game plan. Keep going. See you guys in about half an hour. Guys, we have arrived. That took a while. That took just about an hour. Drained about half my battery. Hopefully it was worth it. Let's see what we can do. Short cast, first cast. Always gotta be a short one. Get out of the way. Hopefully the fishing guns are good to us today. Alright guys, so something I did not anticipate, but look how low this tide is. I mean, this is a completely different place. It's it's like almost blown out. I, not too thrilled to see this. I mean, the, the, the tide's going to rise all day, but man, it is so low right now. Not what I was hoping for. Okay, wow, that was a surprise. <laughs> okay, so there are still fish here, and very welcome sign. Okay, <laughs> probably barely gonna keep, but I will take her. All right, fish number one. Four more, and I will be insanely happy. You have no idea, especially with this tide. Oh my god, I can't. dude, that was the weakest hook set ever. Oh my goodness, it just caught me off guard. It slipped out of my hand. Oh, dang it. All right guys, 9, 10 in the morning, and uh, like I said, we took a gamble, we made this long run, and guess what, it didn't pay off. It's, the tide is so low and it's, it's just almost unfishable back here. I just don't have any confidence in anything I'm doing back here, so just, I don't know. It's unfortunate because I do think if the you know the tide was a little higher, we could fish this area, you know, and do well. But uh, it's a really slow incoming tide right now. It's gonna, I think it's going to take actually all the way up till the end of the tournament to get to a full high tide. We're not going to wait. We're going to get out of here. We're going to head back towards the boat ramp and just fish along the way. Try to pick up four more keepers because yeah, kind of one of those disasters of a day potentially. But uh, it is you know it's only nine o'clock, and. Uh, thing is with these kind of days when they start off tough like this you don't need to have a great day of fishing during a tournament day you just need five of the right bites your day can change in a matter of 15 minutes so we're gonna hope for that magical 15 minute flurry or just find five random fish work hard just keep fishing hard and maybe something good will happen Oh, 
where's my line? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, I just caught a 10 pounder! Oh my god! That's. That might be. I don't even know. That eight or nine? We'll see. Dude, I, I just caught a, I just caught a 10 pounder. Guys, that's a freaking 10 pounder. I gotta measure this thing. Oh, it's gonna break my freaking board. Dude, it's gonna break my board. Well, that's big fish at the tournament, I'll tell you that much. Oh, just caught my new PB, guys. Oh my god. Do you think she's 10? I'm about to find out. I don't know. It's gonna be close. I've never, I've never held a 10-pounder, so I wouldn't know. Here we go. Ah, oh, 811. I mean, we'll take that. <laughs> That's a new PB. One more time for good measure. 812. Turn off the whole unit. All right, here we go. 810. We'll say 811. Average of three. Would you mind taking a picture? I got a big one. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. I, I, it's my. Per I've never caught a fish this big in my life. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I don't even know what to. Damn, nice fish, dude. Wow, that's a real nice fish. Yeah, I've never seen a fish this big in person. <laughs> All right, thank you very I much. Think I got three or four of them. Perfect. Show the camera. 811, not nine, but 811. Cool. Oh my goodness. Thank you, girl. Nice fish, dude. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> Man. Okay, now we're gonna take off with your boat. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a that's a rush. <laughs> yeah. I was a mess in this boat. I didn't even know what to do. When you see him go, holy <gasps> shit! I, I yeah, something like that. <sighs> Oh man, these pictures are awesome. Thank you. Okay, good. Oh, I gotta calm down. <laughs> uh, I'll, ha I'll be having one after this tournament. That's for sure. Well, thank you very much. No Appreciate problem, it, guys. Man. Good luck. Well, guys, just officially got my new PB on a Delta of all places. I thought it was a double digit, but I mean, it's it's a giant. Eight eleven, eight pounds, eleven ounces. My gosh, twenty four three quarter inch fish. Definitely a PB length weight whatever that's the crazy thing about fishing is today was such a bust i mean i made this long run this long gamble nothing got one little keeper to show for it and i just decided to tail out of there it's just start fishing what looked good one flip in that little bush right there with that one ounce weight i can't believe that fish didn't come off i mean insane just absolute insanity i am so happy for moments like these where i get to show you guys just the craziness that sometimes happens today is a special day but we are in a tournament so we've got three more keepers to go and fill out our limit we'll continue flipping and just fishing what looks good junk fishing essentially and uh we'll see how the day goes freaking awesome Another giant, I think. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Holy crap! Alright, I think uh, I have to flip for the rest of the day. No questions about it. Oh my god, another freaking giant. This is like a big fish and it seems small now. That's weird. Well, this is turning into quite a day. Two more keepers, just like average fish, and I could win this tournament. God, thank you, yum, bad mama. I love this bait. Another giant, another giant. Flipping bite is on. 
keeper number four. Another solid one. Guys, one more keeper, and I, I think we're in contention to actually win this tournament. literally all we're looking for one 12 inch please so here we are guys we're back actually at the other side of the like the islands and uh, now it's different tide i mean we basically stuck around to catch all those other good fish we didn't go too far but now that the tide is actually higher uh, we can come back here. It'll be a little bit more fishable. So uh, I don't know I got a couple of spots back here where I caught them a couple of days ago So we're gonna fish those spots and just pray for one more keeper That's all I want is one more keeper man. That would just be a nice little stamp on an incredible day Just such a mixed day of emotions Chessy, but that was my fifth keeper. I just missed twice. Or he missed the frog, one of the two. He wasn't big, but he was my fifth keeper. One 12 inch fish is all we're looking for. How hard can that be? Believe me, it can be really tough, especially when we've got a timer, a clock, which in my calculations, we got an hour and 20 minutes before we need to start heading back because it'll take at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half. We have to get back to check in by 3.30. I'm gonna give myself one hour and 20 minutes to catch a keeper if it doesn't work out. You know, we fished hard today. Definitely fished hard. We got some really good fortune. No matter what happens, I really, really can't complain. But one more keeper will be super nice. Come on, please. Please stay on, please stay on, please stay on. Oh my God, yes, thank you, sir. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Boom, yes, 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 yes. <sighs> One o'clock. One o'clock. We got number five. Not a giant, but she will do. She will certainly do. There is a limit, baby. Boom. <sighs> yes. Oh, photo submitted, I believe. Let's add them up real quick. 89.25. Holy smokes. That is going to do it for the tournament video. As you guys saw from the standings, we squeaked away with the wind by a quarter of an inch. Got five fish all day, and I needed every single one of those fish to come in the boat, but my gosh, what an absolutely crazy, crazy tournament day. Crazy day of fishing, you know? And like I talked about during the video, I, it was just a, it was just the strangest day, one of the strangest tournament days I've ever had. You know, I had a game plan going in, and uh, it just didn't work out. I got to my spot, took a gamble, made like an hour plus ride to the spot. Tide was blown out. Tide was super low almost unfishable and uh, after a few hours I kind of scrapped that and just decided to go fishing and uh, within you know 30 40 minutes we stuck our PB that 8 11 24 and 3 quarter inch fish I actually submitted the 24 and a half but it didn't ma doesn't matter at this point eight pounds 11 ounces thought she was a double digit that mouth that head is one of the biggest I've ever seen on a bass in person and uh, I think probably pre-spawn that fish would easily be a 10 pounder. That was amazing. And then just filling out the limit, you know, it took, I got two other bites right after that. And then it took me till one o'clock to get my fifth keeper. And uh, ultimately that keeper was the difference between first place. And if I didn't catch that fish, I would have been like in 16th, 17th place. Just an amazing day of fishing and uh, everything, everything worked out. But uh, just to kind of go over what 
worked for me it was one bait and one bait only on one setup this is the punch setup which i've been heavily favoring shimano karate k is eight five to one gear ratio reel high speed reel we've got 65 pound braid on there we've got a dobbins champion extreme flipping rod and here's the bread and butter right here we've got our favorite as of lately favorite punching bait which is the yum bad mama this is the black blue sapphire we've got a one ounce strike king tungsten weight we've got two bobber stops to peg that weight and we've got a two watt trocar flipping hook and uh, this was just money this was just it's been money it's been a great little bait great little presentation for me lately awesome tournament awesome time so happy that i get to share moments like these with you guys catching my new pb in a tournament of all times uh what a feeling so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun to make and kind of recreate the uh, the experience. And that's why I love doing this. I love fishing. I love showing you guys and taking you along. One of the videos that I'm, I'm proud to uh, share. Thank you guys for watching. As always, all the gear and baits and all that good stuff will be linked in the description below. Till next time, we'll see you in the next video.